to be 19 is talented, world-class and totally authentic. And we all know that they can write great songs. They're great performers, great singers. Unfortunately, their agency, Show BT, is still small. So they have limited resources and that's also limiting SB19's promotions to the US. This could break SB19's chances at the global market because unfortunately, here in the US, talent is not enough. A foothold of the Western market needs to come from marketing as well, networking, and a sound business strategy. However, there are still affordable but effective strategies or tactics that they can use to have a bigger push in the US. Now, I know many haters out there will say that I'm posing as if I'm a better marketer than Chobiti's marketing and promotions department. And to that, I say, yes, I am. I'm kidding. <laughs> Everybody has marketing ideas. Even non-marketers come up with great marketing ideas all the time. And so me posting this video doesn't actually mean that I think I'm a better marketer. It just means I'm passionate about SB19. Um, I really want them to make it into the global market because I know that they deserve it. Now, before any marketing strategy is to be planned, the first thing that we need to have is an objective. And I don't know show BT's plans for SB19, so I just made up my own. The campaign objective for this one is for SB19 to be introduced in the Asian pop conversation. So take note, we just want them introduced for this stage, not yet a complete penetration of the mainstream consciousness because that will require a bigger planning. Also, do note that all objectives need to be measurable. With that out of the way, here's number one. Create an SB19 multiverse, a continuing story through their videos. People latch on to narratives. That's why the most memorable videos of all time have a story, thriller, like a virgin, formation, etc. BTS elevated this by not just limiting the narrative to a song, but by connecting different songs and connecting different eras. It engages the fans because it makes them feel like they're a part of it as they try to uncover the unexplained parts of the story. And this is true even to theater shows. Even the seemingly pure comedic Blue Man group tackles the experience of an alien who landed on Earth for the first time. As everything is new in their eyes, they are able to highlight things that we take for granted. While some SB19 videos have moments, a full narrative will evoke more attachment from the viewers and highlight the beautiful messages they already have in their songs. Even better is the fact that a good visual storytelling transcends language barriers. That gives them a way into other countries. Number two, documentary. Contrary to belief, YouTube rarely funds a documentary. Usually, a production company creates their documentary and then pitches it to different streaming services like YouTube or Netflix for distribution. It's about time. Show BT creates a documentary on the story of SB19's formation and they better be putting some heart in it. I want to hear about their life as artists before they auditioned how they were chosen, the training process, the struggles of artistic growth, how far they have come, and how far they are from where they want to be. I want to cry. I want to laugh. I want to feel inspired and feel mad and fall in love. Okay, not to them personally, but to the artists that they want to become and the success that they actually deserve. Number three, content creator tour. I heard Show BT is very picky on where to send SB19 for interviews and understandably so. SB19 is royalty. They're probably the most successful Filipino musical act at the moment. But they shouldn't let that get in the way of expanding SB19's exposure, especially in the US. This is really a different market. In the absence of US mainstream media invitation, I would reach out to YouTube content creators or social media influencers. A channel that gets like a million followers, I'm sure won't snub a big act like SB19. And that would give SB19 exposure to people they wouldn't have access to otherwise. There is also the standard conversion rate salespeople use. This is the amount of people that will convert or do an action you want them to do. In this case, the action is that we want them to listen to SB19's music. 
So just want to clarify that conversion is actually the action that you want the audience or target market to do in relation to the product that you are selling. So many air quotes, but totally necessary. So in this case, the product is their music. So if uh, they manage to get interviewed by a YouTube channel that constantly gets 1 million views, then the 1 million audience will become their target market. And 0.3 to 3% of that will most likely convert. And in this case, that means that 0.3 to 3% will most likely listen to their music. Number four, Filipino or Asian local TV shows. There are satellite shows in the U.S. These are shows that are broadcasted in the whole country. There are local ones as well and OTT or streaming stations like Hulu and other cable shows. There are a lot of Filipino shows and Asian shows here in the U.S. They're not exactly Good Morning America in terms of, in terms of volume of audience, but at least they're starting somewhere. And more importantly, they'll be able to leave their footprints in the U.S. Number five, organize and empower fan clubs. Fan mobilization can happen organically, but its growth has to be nurtured by the agency. Fans are most likely going to want to be a member of a fan club that has exclusive access and connections to the artist, right? I don't know if ShowBT already has a relationship with SB19 fan clubs, but if they do, they need to bump it up a little bit more. Aside from exclusive contents, they need to make the fan club organizers feel like they are empowered and more a part and not just a fan of the success of SB19. This will inspire fan clubs to do more and will become a brand ambassador of SB19. And that's it. I would love to create a narrative for them. My dream is to be able to create a story for them. I would love to add that to the 5,000 things I'm already doing. <laughs> Um, but yeah, at the very least, I hope that they find uh, somebody that could create this universe for them, the SB19 universe, and that will draw in more audience. Narrative is the key. People follow stories. Fashion pieces or moments, those are short-lived. People actually stay and they become loyal because of a narrative. I think I've mentioned before that brands like Coca-Cola or Nike, they all have a narrative. They don't just sell shoes, they sell happiness. They sell family. Nike uh, is a driver for those who are not athletes. They're, they keep on saying, just do it, just start it. Don't think about it, just start. These are the narratives. They sell a story and not just a product. So I hope that the, the marketing and promotions department of SB19 will actually um, complement the the amount of talent that SB19 has with the right marketing and promotion strategy. If there are any topics that you want me to cover, do leave a suggestion. You can reach out to me in any of the social media links that you're seeing on your screen. You can leave a comment. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification button. Thanks!